Hello everybody, this is Danny with Art Symbol Studios. Welcome back to my channel. I had just gotten golden so flat acrylics. I wanted to get the primary set, which is called, I believe, Pop. And I couldn't resist. So I've gotten another set, which is, I think, yes, it's a Zing. It just has a little bit more kind of a poppy colors and this has more of a primary colors and also has a black and a white and at that point i have all these pretty colors so i also decided to get burnt sienna and burnt umber because i always use the browns and i don't feel like mixing those so as usual we are going to see how those colors look in action compared to some acrylic gouache paints see how they blend what colors they produce and is it so flat we'll see i hadn't opened anything yet everything is sealed so before we open them let's look at the individual jars so the jars are cute, adorable. I don't know how practical those are. I don't know if I want to contaminate the color with if I put the brush back into the jar. I think I would still put a little bit on the palette and use it like that. So come sealed, as I would expect. Um, it has a little swatch on the jars, kind of give you an idea right away of the opacity. It has the name of the color, pigment information, Again, it has the opacity information and the light fastness information. So let's open everything. <laughs> what happened? Where's my little flap? Why is it different? Beautiful. Oh, it comes with like a little brochure. Ah, and it has the swatch of all the colors available in this line. Not a lot. I'm sure they'll add more because this is so new. Handy. Now I'm kind of curious if they all have flaps or not. <laughs> nope. How about this one? <laughs> this one has a flap. <laughs> I don't know why is it different. <sighs> There's a flap. Let's see how they all look like on the paper. Okay, I let this dry completely. There are no inconsistencies in finish. If I have more paint in some of the places, it doesn't dry slightly shiny. It's all very, very matte. Also, if you can see, it's very well dispersed kind of on the paper, the pigment. This one, I think I had a little bit too much water on my brush, but the rest of them look fairly consistent the way that they lay down on the page. Let's see how they compare to the other ones. We're going to look at Liquitex, and it's pretty comparable to Sennelier, so I don't think we should do both. And I want to see how this compares to Turner. I want to check the white the primary colors and the black on different tone papers. So let's start with the white. And this one is from Golden. Oops. 
And I have the Liquitex. I still like the packaging here better. And I have the Turner. I'm trying to make sure that my brush has similar amount of water. I'm surprised this looks a little sheer. So then I want to see, and not all the colors are exactly the same. I try to stay as close as I can. So I have this yellow from Golden. And the Liquitex, this is a primer yellow. It's a lot more sheer. Let's put a little more. And let's see the Turner. So already started to dry like within seconds. <laughs> I have water. I had water. I had water, too much water on my brush. And this. <laughs> I just want a fair test with to compare those. Um I think we see the, a little bit of a tendency. We'll see. We'll see what the other colors look like next to Liquitex. And I think that Turner still is a little bit more packed. But I did do two passes here with more paint and the same here. I'll try the red without extra water on my brush. So we have Golden. Liquitex. It's a little bit cooler. And I have the Turner. And again, it's not exactly the same. I think this more similar than this one's too warm. Let's try the blue. So golden. Liquid is a lot lighter. Yeah. Yeah. And Turner. And the last one is black that I want to check. The Liquitex. Burner. I remember this one was extra, extra black.
I'm gonna let them dry and kind of investigate this a little bit and I will be right back. I have most of the paints dry. There's a little bit of the wet paint over here, but the rest I don't see any shininess. So I think it's all dry. Turn a white stands out. On a golden side, I think it's a little bit better than Liquitex. It's a little bit thicker, I think, or it just lays down that way, I don't know. But if I like look at Liquitex, it looks, it looks different. The finish is different. So the finish between the golden and Turner is also different. It's not the same. The finish between golden and Liquitex is different. It's somewhere in between. It's not as velvety. And you can see that on the black. I don't know if you can actually, I think you can see it on the camera, it's picking it up. It's this velvety feel of Turner that's, that's different. This one, this is from Golden, is very, very flat. And unlike Liquitex that produces those little kind of ridges where you have more color, they don't disperse. It's almost like, it disperses better and just kind of lays down maybe better on a paper with Golden and other brands. But this one dries, the Liquitex dries a little streaky and where you have more paint in those ridges, they don't dry matte at all. They dry a little glossy. Um, otherwise, I think Golden is somewhere in between with the finish and just in like if i'm looking at the black it's just a little bit better just a little bit better just a little bit better and the finish is a little bit different let's see how they blend what colors they can make so i'm gonna put a little bit of yellow a little bit of red and i think i need to work somewhat quickly although they don't dry as fast as turner i don't think I think Turner, you put it on and it starts drying right away. This one takes a little bit. And I have my blue. Trying to get a purple, but this is so warm, I'm a little... <laughs> it's kind of a little warmer. No, you can get a real purple. It's just enough blue in there. I just want to show it how it looks by itself. Let's check the green. to go here too. Get an orange. Let's see if we can get like a little bit of a lighter green. Yeah, I'm getting a nice green. So the standard mixes work well. Let's see if we can get a brown. I am going to use orange and green. Get kind of like muted, like an olivey kind of green, brown. Red this. Let's add purple. Or like violet. Mm -hmm. This one will brown it up a little bit. 
looks better. Okay, this is what we have. So I think there's somewhere in between Turner and Liquitex. I like their finish. It's very, very flat. It's very consistent from one color to another. And I want to try it out in action. Let's see what we can make. Let's see what Golden has to say about their paints on their website. Golden has developed a paint that helps artists create immersive fields of color without the distraction of texture and glare. The paint has a flowing consistency, offering exceptional coverage and a leveling capability as it dries. The unique combination of qualities can only be found in so flat matte acrylic colors. These paints behaved beautifully. They blended really well, they dried without any kind of streakiness, they act more like gouache when you work with it. The amount of water you add doesn't necessarily make it kind of go all over the page. It just lays down really well and stays where it needs to be. They're super fun to work with. You don't have any surprises. It dries all the same. It's very, very matte. It doesn't leave any texture. The colors are super fun. I'm still not sold on the packaging. I was kind of half and half. I tried to get some of the paints out and then in some cases I was going directly into the jar. So I don't know. I think Liquitex still wins on the packaging, but these paints are definitely a little bit different than other just matte acrylics. Like I said, they behave more like gouache. So far, only 40 colors are available and they're offered in four, two and 16 ounces jars with these two sets that I got with, and those are all little two ounce jars. I'm gonna finish up this illustration and you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you so much for watching, please like, subscribe, love to all and have a great day.